the act of seeing is realized progressively. At the instance of seeing, light clusters called photons travel from the object to the eye and pass through the eye lens where they are refracted and focus on the retina at the back of the eye. Here, rays are turned into electrical signals and then transmitted by neurons to the center of vision at the back of the brain. The act of seeing actually takes place in this center in the brain. All the images we view in our lives and all the events we experience are actually experienced in this tiny and dark place. Both the film you are now watching and the boundless landscape you see when you gaze at the horizon actually fit into this place of a few cubic centimeters. Now, let us reconsider this information more carefully. When we say we see, we actually see the effect the rays reaching our eyes form in our brain by being converted into electric signals. When we say we see, we actually observe the electrical signals in our brain. By the way, there is another point that has to be kept in mind. The brain is sealed to light, and its interior is absolutely dark. Therefore, it is never possible for the brain to contact with light itself. We can explain this interesting situation with an example. Let us suppose that in front of us there is a burning candle, and we view its light. During this period, when we view the candle's light, the inside of our skull and our brain are in absolute darkness. The light of the candle never illuminates our brain and our center of vision. However, we watch a colorful and bright world inside our dark brain. The same situation applies to all our other senses. Sound, touch, taste, and smell are all perceived in the brain as electrical signals. Therefore, our brains throughout our lives do not confront the original of the matter existing outside us, but rather an electrical copy of it formed inside our brain. It is at this point that we are misled by assuming these copies are instances of real matter outside us.